Patterson Elementary School 14 is over 100 years old. Not surprisingly, it's not up to code in many places, like the stairwells and hallways, as facilities director Neil Mapp explained. We have an open staircase that doesn't meet current fire codes, so it would allow smoke and flame to spread to the upper floors. So there is no two hour rated partitions around the staircase, as you would see in new schools. Um, we have an area where we're hanging uh, coats and bags because we don't have adequate space for lockers. Patterson Schools Superintendent Eileen Schaefer explained some of the other repairs needed to bring the building into the 21st century. We can only have limited computers and technology in the building um, because of the electricity. We need a new ventilation system, uh, we need a new electric system, we need a cook-in kitchen. Add to that a tiny cafeteria that also serves as a gymnasium and auditorium, a makeshift playground built on a slant, classes held in hallways, and a roof and windows that need to be replaced. And then you need to weigh, um, is it worth putting all that money into a building that's over 100 years old, or do we need a new school right here? And I would think um, so that our children get the education that they deserve um, with all the accommodations, we need a new building. How much would that cost? Um, I would say about 30 million. Patterson has gotten the funding to build new schools in recent years. In 2015, Public School 16 was replaced with a state-of-the-art school that looks and feels completely different than the antiquated School 14. School 16 has new computer labs, a huge cafetorium complete with a stage and lighting, lockers for students' belongings, and a brand new playground where kids can let loose. Your understanding of what you deserve in life and where you can be in the future is impacted by your daily experiences. If my daily experiences is walking into a building that reflects 21st century, then I see myself as part of this 21st century movement where I can be part of the jobs that reflect an environment like this one. But funding for emergency and capital projects for Patterson schools comes from the school's development authority the agency that oversees and pays for all construction projects in the state's 31 SDA districts, formerly known as Abbott districts. It really puts us in limbo as to what's going to happen to a building like this. Right now, because um, SDA is in a difficult position, I'm, I'm not sure. Difficult position is an understatement. The SDA is broke, according to its former CEO, Lizette Delgado Polanco, who resigned amid accusations that she replaced experienced staff with unqualified cronies. After borrowing more than $12 billion, the agency only has $60 million left to cover emergency repairs for all of its schools over the next six years. Senate President Steve Sweeney says the agency has been ineffective and he wants to roll it into the Economic Development Authority. So. Where does that leave districts in desperate need of those funds, like Patterson? We have a lot of priorities, uh, and one is to provide our children with a thorough and efficient education, and in order to do that, you need buildings that are not substandard. And every child in the city of Patterson does, has the right to a thorough and efficient education, irregardless of where they live. The district is currently working on its next five-year plan. It'll identify schools that need to be completely replaced, like this one or schools that need new roofs, new windows. But as long as funding from the state remains uncertain, it'll only be that, a plan. In Patterson, Joanna Gagas, NJTV News.